kicking off our discussion today is Julia in Pineland. Good morning, Julia. Hi, Kino. How are you doing? Very good. Good to hear from you. Um, this morning, I just wanted to talk about something. It's Monday. Everyone's depressed on a Monday. So I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to bring up something that made my heart smile just a little bit. Um, yeah. I'm in Pinelands, and we decided to organize a market for all the local businesses. And yeah. the response that we had gotten from our community wanting to support these people was absolutely amazing. I'm 17 now, and I've been doing my own business since I was about five years old. And seeing wow. everyone supporting these people, no matter what their age, race, gender, is absolutely Aww. amazing to me. And I just, I think that we all just need a little bit more of this positivity because at the end of the day, all of us are struggling right now. And, exactly. and all of us need a little bit of encouragement from everything. And, you know, I really think that the traditional system of like going to school, getting a degree, going to a nine to five just isn't going to work anymore. People need multiple streams of income. And I okay. think that this new normal is the perfect way to instill all this this new idea of having different streams of income other than the original, like, nine-to-five job. Don't know if you agree, but, yeah. I totally agree with you. Now, you called into the right show. We support entrepreneurship, especially micro-entrepreneurship, to the hilt. Um, it is something that I am personally passionate about. The team is very passionate about it, and it is so lekker. You have no idea. If you ask Jeremy how big my smile is, having spoken to you, you give me goosebumps. Uh, Julia, you say you started your business when you were five years old. Yes, sir. Um, tell, me, tell me about what you do. Come on, I'm now really interested in this. Okay, well, when I was about five years old, um, my gran always, she believed in me no matter what I did. And my aunt started taking me to markets and stuff to raise funds yeah. for, like, animal welfare and that sort of thing. And then when I was little, I got, this is going to sound so weird, I got a glue gun. And I started making these little cards with these like plastic flowers on them. And I used to sell them for like 10 rand each. And people used to support me and it made me so happy. And then as I got older, I started doing like little things. Like, I don't know if you remember, I'm sure my family remembers when those loom bracelets were a thing. Everyone, yes. everyone <laughs> bought me those and that was my thing. And now um, I've delved into events planning and organizing things like that. So that's my new business wow. venture. So yeah, you, you, you said you're seven. You're definitely not 17. I'm sure I heard 17. <laughs> I so, am. Um, have you matriculated? No, I'm currently in grade 11 um, and I do my business wow. on the side. I've been, staying wow. at, I've been staying at home because I live with a lot of high-risk people. So it's just not in anyone's best interest for me to be going to school. But, um, yeah, I've been wow. doing all my businesses on the side. I started doing a lot of, like, video editing and stuff for my uncle's business. Um, and, yeah, when the level one came down, we thought, what's a way that we can encourage small businesses to um, get a little bit more income? And then I planned this event, and it's been absolutely amazing. Great, so tell me where this event takes place, because I'm asking people, more people to get involved, and I'm so happy, by the way, that everybody's supporting small businesses. I live out in the sort of Bloberg, Sunningdale area, and I was just wonderful to see what Table Bay Mall had to do, by the way. Yes, so I saw. They've got this market in the middle of Table Bay Mall. I bought the most amazing uh, butter chicken roti. Uh, oh, yes. And um, you know, my wife's been hucking me to, to get another wedding ring, so I've got one of the silicone ones because my, <laughs> my, my son's the one down the toilet. I went there, and they were just selling amazing stuff. People from the community in the mall and their own little market. Wonderful. So tell me about this, this, this market that you've uh, started uh, punting. Okay, so the first market is going to be a monthly or bi-monthly market. It's going to be held, the first one is on the 11th of October, so this coming up Sunday. It's going yeah. to be at the Pinelands Bowling Club near where the old Saps used to be. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be from 10 o'clock until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Wow. We have a completely open bar. So from 11 o'clock, we'll be selling booze. We'll be selling cool drinks. We have a variety of stalls where we're going to have food. We're going to have burrowvoss rolls. And you know how South Africans love burrowvoss rolls. We're going to have yeah. chips. We're going to have second-hand goods, jewelry. You should come. There's a few jewelry I'm people there. there. I have my markets, right? So I'll be back in my way through. I'm just thinking, you know, what am I going to do? I'm going to pull through the pilots. I haven't moved in recently. 
Bernie Henley should um, come and join the team, right? Eh? And, 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 and put in and uh, get a movie or two. So, Julia, you, you're in grade 11, and you, you probably can't wait to get over and done with school, can't you? Yeah, I think... I think that school has, um, it's taught me a lot of things, but at the same time, at heart, because of my family, I have always been an entrepreneur. Um, like all my friends, I laughed at them at grade nine when they were choosing their subjects and everyone was like, I'm going to do physics, bio and accounting. And I was just like, I'm going to be an entrepreneur. So this doesn't matter. So, <laughs> <laughs> so in- oh, well, I really like you. You're cool. Um, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna host you on the show. I love on top of her, so we're gonna host you just just to have a longer chat with you, Julia. That I would be great. Is, are you are you gonna study anything on optometric? No. Um yes. I'm I'm going to I'm hopefully going to apply for some scholarships and get, go to do a BCom and maybe major in marketing. That was my other business men- venture. I did social media yeah. management for about two years for yeah. various companies. Um, yeah. And it's just kind of to get a little bit more of a broader understanding. I mean, I'm very yeah. young, and not knowing all the things that all my like elders know is a little bit of a disadvantage. So I feel like getting yeah. that info yeah. behind me is yeah. just, you, you know. Try red and yellow. They are wonderful. Oh, great! Thank you so much. I'll definitely oh, check them out. You want to do marketing, and you want to look at innovative thinking. The red and yellow school is is, is really really cool. Um, I, I would even suggest them above some traditional universities that we have. Oh, wow. My, my take. All right. Great. But, Julia, thank you for putting a smile on my face. Get, just give me a detail through to Jeremy. We'll get you in. We'll host you as one of our entrepreneurs on the show. Uh, okay, that is great. Julia in Pineland. Let's go to Paul. Paul in Durban.